John Kennedy, Republican senator from Louisiana, joins us now. Senator, great to have you here. Thanks for being here. Is Ron DeSantis, uh, is he right to ramp up this fight? Well, we, we, um, we, we live in a system where both the federal government and the state government share power. And on an issue like this, quite frankly, I, I think uh, the decision should be made state by state by the state legislature or, in, in some cases, the governor with authority from the state legislature. Uh, I think that the, in terms of the lockdown, Sandra, I don't, I don't think we're going to go back to another lockdown. Um, I just don't think the American people will stand for it. Number two, on the masks, uh, my attitude about the masking or not wearing a mask, it's a, it's a sideshow. It's a subordinate issue. It's a distraction. Uh, Sometimes, I mean, I, my feeling is if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you don't, don't. Um, the, 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 the mask, unless it's an N95 and worn properly, uh, there's benefit, but it's only a marginal benefit. To me, the issue is the vaccine. Now, I, I don't believe any government should require anybody to take the vaccine. It's up to the individual. The Bill of Rights is there to protect, uh, our, our to, is not there to control people, it's there to control government. But I believe in the vaccine. I've taken two shots, and as soon as a booster is available, I will take the third shot. Mm. Uh, the, the, uh, the virus came from China, but the best vaccines came from America, and they work. It what we need to deal with is the facts, and I can tell you this, that there is a briefing that is happening right now with the COVID response team. Uh, the CDC Director Walensky is speaking right now, but just a moment ago, Jeff Zients, the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator, was speaking, Senator, and he said um, they, they can now say that one-third of the new cases are coming from Florida and Texas. So to go back to the White House saying that they want a coordinated response to this virus and they hope that the governor of Florida jumps in. Do you believe the governors of these states are doing enough? And, sir, I'll point out in your state, the great state of Louisiana, your mm -hmm. state is bottom of the list as far as vaccination rates. Mm -hmm. Um, is fifth from the bottom, 37% of your population is fully vaccinated. So mm -hmm. are these states doing enough to combat this virus? Well, number one, it's a very ferocious virus, as we know. Number two, I think the, uh, the governors of uh, Florida and Alabama and Louisiana and, and Texas, they're all doing the best they can. Number three, I think, sure, there are a lot of cases coming out of Texas and Florida. There are a lot of people in Florida, duh. Uh, uh, number, number, number four, I think the, one of the biggest problems we have, Sandra, you touched on it. Uh, nobody knows who to believe anymore. And I think if I were king for a day, I'm not, I don't aspire to be, I would appoint one person in whom the American people have confidence here in Washington, not a politician, uh, to, to try to answer people's questions. Yeah. Now, fair or not, I don't think that's Dr. Fauci. I, I like Dr. Fauci. I respect Dr. Fauci. But uh, uh, fair or not, about half of Americans trust Dr. Fauci now like they, they would trust Bill Cosby as the bartender. That's just a fact. I'm not saying that's a, I'm happy that's the case. Hmm. Uh, maybe Dr. Walensky is the answer. Maybe Dr. Collins at yeah. NIH, but we've got to have one person. Well, that leadership matters, that is for sure. Leadership matters. And we're looking yeah. at the Texas governor, Greg Abbott. He said he will not reimpose mask mandates or shut down businesses again. Here he is in his own words. Texas has remained open for businesses during the course of the pandemic. Safe practices are important. That said, one thing that we've learned along the way is lockdowns are wrong during the course of a pandemic. So it seems to be he's ruling that out, uh, Senator. And I'll finish off with this. You know, I open from our brain room a daily COVID report, and it tells mm -hmm. us where we are because everybody looks at different metrics. New cases, 43% increase week over week in the mm -hmm. entire country. The hospitalization rate, which many people look to, up 45% hospitalizations week over week in the United mm -hmm. States. Deaths are up 40% week over week. 
you see the polling. People just a couple weeks ago thought things were getting a lot better. Not so much anymore. People are worried about the direction in which we are going. Final thoughts to you, sir, on, on where things stand in this moment. Don't get distracted. The issue is the vaccine. We need to spend all of our efforts trying to convince folks that the costs of the vaccine are substantially less than the benefit. We're doing okay in Louisiana in terms of improvement there. We're up 3 or 4% in terms of vaccination rate. But that's the only thing that's going to get us out of this. Let me say it again. If you don't want to take the vaccine, don't take it. And some won't. But we, I believe in it. I think it works. If they told me to take the vaccine, I had to take it by getting a shot in the eyeball, I would. I don't want to die. I don't want to see my fellow Americans die. And I believe the vaccine works and we need to make our case, but government can't require people to do it. I just don't think that's constitutional. And that is where you stand on that. Senator, you always share your mind with us. Thanks for joining us. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.